Peace to my YouTube family out there. I hope everyone's having a good day. Everything's going well. This video is going to be based off of two people. And I have a question out there. I want to know who's the biggest asshole? Michael Jordan or Karl Malone? Now, on one hand, you have Michael Jordan, great athlete, probably one of the probably the greatest basketball player that ever lived. His accomplishments, bar none, no one even comes close. But when it comes to being an, an asshole, I think it's very few people that all that that also can come close to um, Michael Jordan. I've read some stories and some articles on Michael Jordan. You know, and talking about his level of being an asshole, and it's, it's crazy. You know, I read this. I read. I've seen a video where um, there's, there's a rapper from Texas. Uh, I, be, I believe his name is Chameleon there, and he tells a story on how he met Michael Jordan, and he asked Michael Jordan for a photo after spending about fifteen thousand dollars on Michael Jordan jerseys. He asked Michael. Could he take a picture with him next to the uh, the Chicago Bulls jerseys? Of course, Michael Jordan, being an asshole, refused. Not only did he refuse, he told him, I don't take pictures with niggers. And then proceeded to take pictures with um, two beautiful white women right after that. You know, he says how there was other NBA players there and they um, consoled him. They told him, man, don't worry about it. That's just Michael Jordan, you know. From what I've read about Michael and his life off of the camber, he's very niggerish. He likes to smoke a lot of weed, and he curses a lot, you know. The groundspeople that worked at his estate, they said that he would tease them, you know, and talk about how, how shitty their lives were. And, and they witnessed him constantly cursing out his ex-wife, who he divorced not too long ago. Constantly cursing out, calling her dumb bitches all day. So, um, when it comes to um, and ass assholes, I think Michael Jordan ranks up there very high. On the oh, let's not dis dismiss the fact of um, you know how he would. Uh, how he doesn't speak out on black issues and how he makes so much money off of these shoes and you know just to throw that in there. Now on the other hand you have Carl Malone, the good old boy <laughs> from the Utah Jazz. Grew up in um Louisiana in the South in the country. Grew up very poor. Um this guy had a had a child with a woman that was 13 when he was 21 and on his way to the NBA and would not acknowledge that child. He had twins, actually, a boy and a girl. And he wouldn't acknowledge either of them until they was grown, you know, which I find very tragic. Um, when he did finally um, acknowledge them, he told his son, First time meeting him, you're grown now. I can't help you financially with your life. You're going to have to do it on your own. And, and mind you, this is the first time he's meeting his son. And this is what he has to say to him. <laughs> you know, um, I will say to the credit of Carl Malone that um, it appears that, that he is, over the years, he has matured and he's trying to... Um, build a relationship with his children now. But um I think that that ranks up there as uh very ash holish. Also, Carmelo Malone is known for um hitting on Kobe Bryant's wife when he was on the Lakers. Yeah, he tried to have sex with Kobe's wife. Of course she told Kobe about it and Kobe was pissed. And instead of Carl Malone apologizing to Kobe and saying, you know, I was out of line, he offers Kobe Bryant to, um, you know, we can 
go in the back room somewhere and we can settle this. Meaning, you know, he offered to fight Kobe. We know, all know, you know, Carl's like, what, 6'9", 270 pounds. Kobe's probably, what, 6'6", six, six, maybe 120, 130 pounds. You know, not a fair fight at all, you know. So I think that's very ash holish and bullyish of him. You was in the wrong, and you're going to still challenge a guy to fight. You know, that's very ash holish. Um, also... There was a time when the Jazz was playing the um, Pistons, and I think John Stockton got fouled pretty hard. You know, nothing too crazy, though. Of course, Carmelo was upset with that. He threw an elbow in Isaiah Thomas' face while Isaiah was going up for an elbow, and you see the difference in size between the two, causing Isaiah Thomas to have to get 50 stitches. Nasty. Nasty. So, um, when it comes to assholes, Carmelo ranks up there too. Not only was he a great player, he was also a great asshole. So, out of Michael Jordan and Carmelo, who would I say is the um the bigger jerk? I would have to go with no Tippin Pippin. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. Pippin's an asshole too. I, you know, he's an honorable mention, but um. I would have to go with um, Carmelo. You know, at least Michael acknowledged his kids. You know, Carmelo on the other hand, you know, you know, it, you know that kind of takes the cake. You know, and Michael Jordan smokes weed. I don't know what Carl does. I know he likes to hunt, but um, yeah, they're both assholes. But Carmelo ranks higher. So um, with that family, I would like for you guys to comment, leave your opinion. Who do you think is the biggest jerk based off of what you've read about the two? And um, have a great day. God bless you. Shalom and peace.